and weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. You see how intently I pay attention to you when you're speaking? I know. Right I thought you. you were going to scare me for a <laughs> second. Right <laughs> I thought he was already getting into the Halloween spirit, Pete. Yeah, you guys are on your phones when you're doing, when I'm doing the weather, though, right? Oh, no. yes. We're we're only checking the temperatures. <laughs> right along with you. Right. Yeah. Seeing if the forecast is right. 66 in Boston. You wanted the 70s, though, southwest of the city. We got it. 75 in Norwood. We didn't get up into the 70s in Beverly or Lawrence. Oh, but tomorrow we will, and then some. Temps now in the 60s. To near mid 50s. I mean, some spots are cooling off. Lawrence is at 51 degrees. A little bit of patchy fog here as we see the humidity increase just a little bit. Pick out your pumpkin in the background. A toasty Halloween. The records are in jeopardy. No rain, just like the song goes. And just a few sprinkles will come through, perhaps on Friday and perhaps on Tuesday. That's it. This drought will continue. We'll expand it. By tomorrow, we'll have a new drought outlook and then a sharply colder spell for the weekend. We have a couple of high clouds that will add to that eerie feel for tomorrow. They're getting sprayed across New England underneath that big high. How could you not get rain, right? The front, when it comes through, it's got to have... No. A lot of this will just fade out as it comes in. But there's a contrast between the warmth and the colder air. Bismarck 32 right now. It's 72 in Chicago. And that warmth is on top of us already. We're just going to see it work in. Dew points, by the way, this is a reflection of the humidity coming back up into the 50s. So the humidity is there tomorrow, about 80 degrees, upper 70s to near 80, most everywhere. The models always have a hard time with these late season warm ups. They go, ah, it can't be that warm. So the climatology in the model tries to pull back the numbers a little bit, or it's hesitant to make these big leaps. But we know from experience. Many times we've been in the 70s for Halloween, right? I can think back to 2019, 2004, 2005, 2009. So it's not like this is a big leap, but it is to push it to record levels. We haven't been there before, obviously. Worcester could set a record, 77, and then frighteningly mild all the way through the evening for trick-or-treaters. Look at these numbers, right? I mean, you're going to switch up your Halloween costume now? Hmm, maybe. All right, later in the evening, if you're going out dressed as J-Lo, I think you'll be fine. Look at these temps in here. 67, 66 degrees by 10 and 11 o'clock, and or Ariana Grande. And you can see Friday about 78, more wind is in the forecast. We're holding on to some of that warmth. And then Saturday, 54 degrees, chilly temperatures. We're back to the sweater weather. And you can see that southwest wind, too, uh, through Chicago and through Springfield. Doesn't look all that impressive, but by the time that front gets through here, the switch up in the in the, in the temperatures and with all that wind, I think some gusts may be up to 30 miles an hour. The cold comes back for the weekend, so we are in jeopardy of some frost in the suburbs, by the way, Sunday and Monday morning. And Boston may be very close to a frost, at least on Sunday morning, but then back up again next week. So you know where the 10 days go on, right? It's going back up into the 60s and 70s. Election day is mild. Maybe a couple of sprinkles on that day. Don't let the rain stop you from a, uh, voting, though. And you go to Wednesday, and we're back to 70. There's some cooler air coming, but again, it does not seem like it has legs. Or we'll stay here for very long. We're back after the break.